Hi there, and welcome to the third video with the True Ballistics Chronograph. In the first video, we had an overview. In the second video, we showed you how to use it as a standalone unit. And now in the third video, we're going to unlock all the advanced features you get once you pair it to the FX Radar app on your smartphone. A lot to talk about, so let's get started. Now, before we get started, I want to clarify two things I've seen floating around on the internet. And that is actually, can the True Ballistics Chronograph be used with firearms Yes, definitely. Actually, the True Ballistics Chronograph is developed all around firearms itself and can also be used with air guns. So it's not only for air guns, it can be used for both industries, firearms and air guns as well, as the True Ballistics Chronograph reads up from 400 to 4,500 feet per second. Second thing I've seen is that people are wondering if there is any internal storage on the True Ballistics Chronograph. And yes, there definitely is. Uh, but you need to install the latest firmware on your True Ballistics Chronograph to utilize the internal memory. So you can store up to 150 shots on the internal memory of the True Ballistics Chronograph that you have gathered as a standalone unit in the field or out at the range. Afterwards, when you come back home, you can easily offload it onto the app on your smartphone and start using the interesting features the True Ballistics Chronograph has to offer. Speaking of the app, to connect to the True Ballistics Chronograph, you need to download the FX Radar app. The FX Radar app is available for iOS and Android devices from the Apple Store or from the Google Play Store. Now one thing must be said is that the Android version of the app is running just a little bit behind on the iOS version, but we're doing our best to catch up. So it might be that you see some of the features I'm showing on the iOS device not showing up on your Android device, but they will be there very shortly. So once you download the app, it's very simple. Open up the app and once the app is open and your chronograph is on, it straightly connects to the app itself and you can get started. On your primary screen is the one you see right here on the top. You have your feet per second or your muzzle velocity. Right below it, you have statistics. And at the, on the statistics, you can exactly see the same thing like on the third page you have on the True Ballistics Chronograph itself. You see your last five shots and at the bottom, some information as well. Now, all the information you see on that primary screen can be customized in the settings. Uh, you can uh, add some more, you can take some out if you would like to have just a very basic uh, primary screen or one with a little bit more information as well. That's your primary screen. Looking at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there are five different pages. Let's walk through them before setting up a custom profile. Pressing on shot string brings us to the second page where you can see your recorded shot string with some extra information, your BC value, the ballistic data, but more in depth on this powerful section when we went through the complete application menu. And some other very interesting information at the bottom, like your vertical spread at the range you fill in. This is a theoretical calculation based on the shot string recorded. In this example, it calculated, I will have a vertical spread of about 0.82 MOA with a one MOA probability hit of 88% and a mean radius of 0.83 centimeters. Changing the distance to 200 meters, it does, just doesn't double the MOA value, but makes a proper calculation for this. And you can see that if the shooter does everything perfect, it's much harder to make a sub MOA at 200 yards than at 100. Understanding MOA is actually an angular unit, one MOA at 100 meter, is about 2.5 centimeter or one inch and about five centimeter, which is two inch at 200 yards. If the vertical spread indicates one MOA at 100 meters and two MOA at 200 meters, you double the distance, but you quadruple the group size. Then looking at the top of the screen, you can start a new shot string, save the current shot string. You can browse through saved shot strings, uh, open them up, add a picture to them and uh, add some information if you would like. If you would like to recall it to your profile that you are using at the moment, you can simply copy it to it. And on the top right, you have the share button, which serves an option to share it. At the bottom, you also have the option to see the string on a chart as well. Then moving on to the third page, this is where you can create some custom profiles for each of your rifles you own. Let's start at the bottom, creating a new profile. Simply press view profiles. And at the top right, you can press the plus icon to create a new profile and it will appear in the list. With a swipe to the left, you have the following options to delete your profile, 
do a quick edit by filling in some information about the profile or press on more to pick a specific bullet from your database you want to use for this profile. Or show your saved shot strings for this profile as well. With a swipe to the right, you can duplicate the profile if you would like to. In the middle at the top, you have the button All Sessions. For instance, you went out with the True Ballistics Chronograph as a standalone unit, no profile, etc. Then you can import that shot string into the app and assign it here to the profile you just created. Or you can choose out of one that you might have recorded earlier and assign it to this profile. With a simple press on the profile, you select the profile. Once selected, you can tap the middle and add a picture for your profile. We all like to have some nice profiles with pictures for it. For easy and quick reference, of course. And the same applies for the bullet you're using, which you can also add a custom picture for it. In the top left, you can edit your profile. General, there you can fill in some general information of your profile, like the name and the magazine capacity. Under projectile is the section where you fill in the weight of your projectile, the caliber and make of the bullet that you are using for that profile. Or you can choose one of the library and save a new bullet you just filled in. Scope option is a very important one and only shows up when the True Ballistics Chronograph is selected. If there is no True Ballistics Chronograph connected, you can choose it manually on page number 4, but more on that in just a second. But here you fill in your scope height that is needed for the initial calculation. Here you also choose the click value of your scope and the set distance increments you want to be displayed in your ballistic chart. With the press on close, you back out of the menu and we can move on to profile sessions. Profile sessions is the place where all your sessions get recorded and stored and for quick access if you want to recall them to your profile. Profile strings is the place with strings recorded for this profile that you can switch to. Look at the charts, name it or share it as well. The third option from the top brings you to your bullet library and here you can also switch to different bullets for your profile if you want. You can create new ones by the plus icon at the top. Give it custom pictures and information if you would like to. By pressing on close we go back to the profiles tab and on the top right corner you see dope this is the place for all your dope charts you have created for this profile in the ballistics tab on page number two. But we'll have a look at that in just a bit how to create them. This is super useful when preparing for a match and no need to start calculating in different apps to get your solution as a true ballistics chronograph does it all for you. Let's move on to page number four at the bottom of the screen with pressing on the fourth icon app settings. Here you will find some general settings like device, units, audio, calibration and options. On the device you can select the different chronographs if you want to use the app without the chronograph being connected or if you want to switch between devices. Now remember that the scope height could only be set when uh, the app was connected to the True Ballistics chronograph. If you don't have the True Ballistics chronograph uh, mounted or connected to the app, this is where you can assign it to it. Units is where you can set your preferred metrics, like feet per second, foot pounds, grams or grains, yards or meters, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Tapping on the audio, it allows you to turn on the voice for the primary and secondary readings, on or off, as well as the empty magazine warning. Then we still have the calibration one, is a setting that can be set to a max plus or minus 2%, but this is an option not to be used as the chronographs are calibrated from factory. Some users may want to use it to match the results with some of their other chronographs to keep the readings consistent. Under options, it allows you to turn the weather information on, auto save shot strings or customize what you can see on the primary screen, as I have mentioned in the beginning of the video. On the primary screen, you can put the statistics on or off, last shot string uh, information and the, those kind of things. That's up to the user to decide what he wants to have displayed there. And then by pressing more at the bottom of the app, which is the last icon in the row and the last page, that brings us to some uh, shortcuts to manuals for the different chronographs and a link to the update page for the True Ballistics Chronograph as well. 
Now, that was a brief run through of the five pages you have at the bottom of the screen of the FX Radar app. But let's jump in back into the shot string uh, tab, which is the second one at the bottom right here. And now let's see what kind of ballistic functionality we can have once you have recorded a shot string with the True Ballistics chronograph. So when a shot string is recorded with the True Ballistics chronograph, you can see this button right here, Ballistics. Tap on it and it gives you a list with all your click values, holdover points, remaining velocity and so on. With the set distance increments you have entered under the profile scope options on page number 3. And your sighting range which can be changed by pressing on the re-zero button and fill in your zero range. And if you change that you can see that the list getting updated according to the value you have set. Right below it you have scope angle and that is a very interesting one that other chronographs on the market don't use and is a way more interesting one to use. The scope angle gets generated and calculated by entering your zero range. Once the angle is calculated the True Ballistics chronograph can use this to calculate a bunch of interesting things. The True Ballistics chronograph gives the bullet trajectory and based on the sight in range it calculates the scope angle. So once you have established the zero range that you exactly want for yourself, in our example right here it will be 50 meters, adjust your turret to zero by lifting up the turret and resetting it to zero. At this point the zero of our scope translates to the angle our scope is pointing at and by changing the turret at this point you basically adjust the angle of the scope itself. Alright, so scope angle, let me show you a quick example how it works and how the scope angle and your zero range actually go hand in hand. For instance, looking at the top of our screen, you can see our original sighting range at 50 meters with a corresponding scope angle of 4.71 MRETs. Looking at our list, for instance, let's take 75 meters, which is 21 clicks or 2.06 MRET. Press on re zero, go to scope or zero angle, sorry, and instead of 4.71, we're going to uh, add the 2.06, so we come to 6.77. Press OK. And now you can see that the list straightly got updated and 75 meters is our new zero. Pressing back on re zero and now we're going to fill in at the zero range again 50 meters. Press OK and you can see that our uh, uh, zero range went back to 50 meters and our corresponding scope angle went back to 4.71 MRETs. So now that we exactly know in which direction our scope is pointing at or at which angle our scope is pointing at, we can do a lot of interesting stuff. For instance, when you swap out to a different bullet, a lighter one, a heavier one, a faster one, a slower one, it doesn't really matter. Naturally, your original zero uh, range won't be any effective anymore as your impact will be higher or lower. Thanks to the uh, scope angle that we're using on the True Ballistics Chronograph, the True Ballistics Chronograph can exactly figure out where your next shot will be landing and therefore can give you an updated list with adjustments you have to make on your scope so your new bullet will impact exactly on your original zero range. Very cool, right? I know. It can be a lot to take in for a lot of you. It might be very new for some of you. It might be uh, common sense. But therefore, in the next video, I'll be showing you out in the field exactly how that works. For those of you also interested, when you go to the ReZero page, there is also a written explanation about zero angle, so you might want to read up on that as well. Returning to our original ballistics page that we have right here, when you press on ballistics, at the top corner you see dope plus, and when you press on that one, you can create dope charts, which is a very interesting one for people participating in uh, PRS matches. And according to your matchbook, here you can add ranges by yourself, enter the value and it will give you the elevation corrections as well. With the three little dots at the right corner, you can rename, for instance, to stage one, stage two, uh, however you would like to call it. And here you can also share it if you have to. With the press on edit, you can add or remove ranges from your dope chart and therefore you can create exactly the one you need. Dope charge, you can create as many as you want. And when going to your profile page, at the right top, you see dope charts. And when you open those, you can see exactly all the stages or the different dope charts you have made for your competition. Very handy, very practical uh, when you're preparing for a PRS match. 
All right, guys, that was a lot, but that completes the complete FX radar app in combination with the True Ballistics Chronograph, unleashing its full potential. No matter you're shooting air guns or firearms, the True Ballistics Chronograph gives you so much detailed information, you can hit your targets a lot faster and a lot easier than ever before. If you have any questions regarding the video or regarding the True Ballistics Chronograph, maybe you have a clever idea that we should put on to future software updates for the True Ballistics Chronograph, don't hesitate, put it in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. I hope you enjoyed the video, you found it useful, I thank you for watching and I'll see you back in the next one. Bye.